Hello, my name is Jeanette and welcome to my channel. Today I am taking you sourcing with me for Amazon Retail Arbitrage. It's Tuesday? No. Today is Thursday. It's 9 a.m. I am so excited to get in the stores today. So far, this is my second trip sourcing as a full-time Amazon seller, and I must say that shopping during the weekdays and the mornings are so peaceful. Like, I, I love that there's not as many people out. I have the store to myself. The, the shelves seem to be better stocked. Those are just a few observations I've had so far. I am currently at Walmart. Let's get in here and check the clearance aisle and I'll probably be checking out the toys too because I don't know, I just love toys. I need to get some boxes and I'll probably go to the grocery also. Let's get in here. Let's hope we can find some inventory to ship to Amazon. just got out of Walmart and I feel like I was in there forever because I was. I was in there for two hours. Yeah. I feel like that's a long time. I only wound up spending $41. The first thing I did when I got in Walmart was I went straight to the clearance aisle and I was so excited. It's the fullest I've ever seen the clearance aisle and there were so many toys and I was just so so excited. Lots of stuff, lots of scanning. Uh, unfortunately, a bulk of it wound up being planners that expire in six months, you know, so they're trying to get rid of all the 2022 planners. I didn't really bother scanning those. Uh, another thing they had was a lot of graduation gifts and party decor, and it says 2022 on it. So, no, no graduation stuff. That's over. Then I also scanned a bunch of the party stuff, but the certain brand of party stuff, which was super cute, by the way, I could not find it on Amazon. I tried typing it in. I tried taking a photo of it. I have three ways I search for products and I do have a video about that. I'll put it wherever, but uh, I wasn't having any luck finding products that way. So I wound up skipping that whole party brand. I also saw a ton of toys. Like they didn't even just have one or two. They had 10, 15 of the same toys, sometimes more. And that would be really awesome. But when I scanned the toys, they were often more expensive on Walmart clearance than they were on Amazon. So, not gonna work. I scanned Legos, Barbies. Um, I'm I'm in the process of getting ungated in Barbie, so if I did find some Barbie stuff, I'd probably pick it up, but no bueno today. I think I spent the most of my time scanning all of that clearance stuff. I did wind up finding one thing in the clearance aisle. I bought it for $3.50. It sells for $48.79 and it should profit $32.62. So that was a good find. I was searching and searching for more of these books. It's a book, but I couldn't find any. And even when I looked on walmart.com and on the app, it just doesn't even show it exists. That's a bummer. I couldn't find any more, but I'm gonna keep my eye out for those. And the books uh, ranked in like the 700,000, which is pretty good. Cause I will, I will buy books up to a million in ranking. So 700,000, I'm good with that. Um, another thing that happened in the clearance aisle is I did get auto ungated in this Q-U-N-O-L. Quanol, Quanol. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
but it didn't make any money and I couldn't find any bundles that made money. And I will add this to my auto and gating list. I do have a free list of everything I've ever been auto and gated in. So if you want access to that list, head over to my blog, JeanetteSteele.com, sign up. All you need is your email and you will get access to that list. Then you can just bookmark it on your computer and check on it like once a month. And as I add to it, you'll have access. Now there is no guarantee that you'll get auto engaged in the things that I have. It all just depends on Amazon. Amazon decides that, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a try. If you've signed up for my blog, thank you so much. And if you've had luck getting auto ungated and stuff, let me know. I want to know if it's working for you guys. I feel like I'm not like a wealth of knowledge. At the very least, I can entertain you, hang out with you, and maybe I can help you get auto ungated in some stuff. Okay, moving on. The next thing I found was in the toy aisle. I paid $20 for this bundle. It sells for $38.98 and I should profit $5.66. I've sold these in the past. They have a really good ranking. So I'm just gonna do it and make my $5. Then I went down to grocery. I scanned so much crackers. I scanned so much cereal, so much drinks that it killed my phone. My phone, my app, my seller app, it's been doing this glitchy thing lately when I scan a product, it'll pull up a product I scanned, you know, 10 minutes ago, and then I try to back out of it, and then it'll pull up something else I didn't want it to. And then sometimes it'll just go in this loop where it's just refreshing and pulling up all sorts of stuff I've scanned in the past. Is this happening to you? Are you having this glitch with your app? It's kind of annoying and it's slowing me down. It happened on Tuesday, but I just thought, eh, that's a Tuesday problem. But now it's happening on Thursday too, and now it's a Tuesday and a Thursday problem. I just thought I'd complain about it. All together, I think I got like $38 in the Walmart for two hours. Not my best, but I'll take it. Okay. Next stop is going to be Home Goods because it's right next door and I haven't been there in a while. Um, and I need some new skinny syrup for my coffee in the morning and that's where I love to get it. So let's go over there and see if we can find some goodies. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that I'm starting to see back to school stuff. It is July. So definitely be sourcing back to school stuff already. Like the second you see it, start sourcing it. That's what I'm going to do too. All right. I just made it to Home Goods, which probably took me one minute because I could have walked here, but he didn't. just got out of the home goods and holy Halloween. Okay, so it's July. I was expecting to see back to school stuff, but I was not expecting to see Halloween stuff already. But guess what? It's Halloween time. Yeah, there was so much cute Halloween stuff. I, for one, huge fan of Halloween. Love Halloween, I love dressing up, I love costumes, I love makeup, I love decorations. Halloween's the cutest. So it was really exciting to see all the Halloween stuff. Do you guys love Halloween? Maybe we can start a Halloween lover club. Yeah. I went through so much stuff at Home Goods. I went through the kitchen and the snacks and the beverages and the food and the office stuff. I went through the toys, the pet stuff, um, the clearance aisle. They've really cleaned up this home goods. Uh, it was a little bit of a mess when they were rearranging everything, but now that it's rearranged, looking good. But I didn't really find anything. I wound up finding one thing and it was a mug. I bought it for $4.99. It sells for $17.89 and I should profit $4.32. Four bucks. 
So when I went shopping on Tuesday, I wasn't sure if I was gonna combine today's shipment with Tuesday's shipment, but so far it's looking like they're gonna be combined because <laughs> I have only found, what, three things today, I think? Is that right? Sounds right, I think. Now that I made a whopping $4, I am going to go ahead to Costco. I haven't been there in a while to source, so why not? It's right over here in the same parking lot. And I'm hoping it won't be as crazy since it's uh, Thursday at noon. We'll see. So yeah, let's head over there. I just got to Costco. Even though I don't have a full-time job anymore, I still do contract work for the company I used to work for. And just yesterday I signed a new contract for another job. This job will probably last about two weeks and I don't know if I'm going to be able to source as much while it's going on because I'm going to have to do a lot of traveling. So I'm just going to be sourcing as much as I possibly can for the next couple weeks before this contract starts because I'm not sure if I'll be able to do both, but I'm going to try. I think it's really important for me to have multiple sources of income. Even though I don't have like a traditional full-time job, I do consider Amazon my new full-time job and contracts are just gonna come up when they come up. So anyways, all that just to say, sometimes I have to take these opportunities when they present themselves and I have a new opportunity coming up in a couple of weeks that I signed up for and I'm gonna try to multitask. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my hardest. I really want to keep consistent inventory going in Amazon. I want to see my numbers go up. I would also like to start doing some more online arbitrage. I feel like that could help me out a lot during those weeks that I am doing contract work. That's the latest. That's what's up. That's the new scoop. All right, let's go into Costco and see if I can find anything. I've had luck here with books and I've had luck here with snack items. So I'm gonna focus on those today. Just got out of Costco. And the first thing I did was look through the books and I scanned a ton of books and unfortunately I just didn't find any that made money. But after I left the book area, I went over to the like grocery side and I just went up and down every aisle and started scanning. Scanning Costco is pretty easy because you know, it's just a palette and you scan one thing and then you walk forward and scan another and it's just, it just seems really easy and quick to get down an aisle. Luckily, I wound up finding a breakfast item. I paid $15.49 for these and they're selling for $39.99 and they should profit $11.90. So I got four to test out. There is a huge palette there. It looks like they it just showed up. I think I was the first one to take anything off of this palette. So I might just send these for, see how it goes. And then if it sells pretty quickly, hopefully there'll be more left and I can get some more. Just that one item I found in Costco should profit $44 for four items. And I was only in Costco for less than an hour. So that made up for the only $4 I found in Home Goods. I don't know if you can see that, but my phone is dead dead. I don't know how it's still glowing. And it's super hot. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go home. I gotta, I gotta work on my inventory from Tuesday. I still haven't packed that up. Uh, I'm gonna go do that. I got everything packed up and I wound up with these five boxes. Total sales value $1,135, total buy cost $371, and that total net profit was only $335.59. And I say only $335 because I could do that just working one day a week and I work two days a week. I was hoping to at least double that money, so make about $600. So overall, my first week was a little disappointing, but 
I'm going to buckle down next week and I'm looking forward to watching these numbers grow. Thank you so much for watching. I really truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for being so supportive. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and comment and I will see you next time. Bye.